So in this show, uh, as in most sight and sound shows, we have stage combat that happens throughout. Now this show in particular is probably the most we've ever done, but it also has specific things that we've never done before. We had a guy come in from uh, Los Angeles by the name of Mark Dirks, and he is a combat uh, stunt instructor. We started with just a very low level, uh, you know, four feet up, and then we just kept moving up till we got to 11 feet. And so with the Jawbone Hill fight, you see Samson moving through people, hitting them, and they're falling in all different ways. And so you can take, you know, a group of 22 guys and make it look like, um, you know, it's much more than that. One of the main challenges we found is that with a stage combat situation, we're utilizing 20, 21, 22 guys, you oftentimes have them choreographed to fight each other. In this situation, they're all fighting one man. So we have to have the staging, the way that they're coming in to attack, to continue to keep the flow of the fight going, it's tricky. You've got to be able to get them in and get them back out of the space in order to bring in the next attacker. And it's a lot for Samson to memorize. To help play with the guys around you, getting yourself up and, and getting out of there, or maybe rallying for the next thing that we're doing. But you guys can help tell that story. We start the Foxes and Fire fight with the two horses coming out and throwing a net on top of Samson. And then we have all of the companions running in and jumping on top of him, kind of piling up on top of him. He explodes out of that. And then through that, he's working through the set pieces that have been designed to create uh, the fight that we want. So we've got a big giant grinding wheel that he's throwing into other guys. Not only are we, you know, having the intensity, but we also have these lighter moments that uh, maybe are fun. Um, and uh, the audience, and especially the kids, will laugh and like, 